Hey, I'm Courtney Waterman, your tutor. Lover of anime, manga, and math. And you just tuned into another session of Tutor Me Senpai. Welcome back, everyone. Today we're jumping into a fifth grade topic, converting our inches to feet. Now, if you're new to my channel, I'll be putting time codes in for this video in the description box below, so you use it to skip ahead to whatever part of the video you think is most interesting. As always, if you have any questions about what you see today, or even your own homework, you can always visit my Facebook page, at Tumi Senpai, and tell me all about it there. Today's video is going to have two parts, so leave a like, smash the subscribe button, and let's get started! So today we're going to be converting our inches to feet, and in fact, we're also going to go back from feet to inches. But before we get into all of that, which is actually going to be a rather simple process, there's one really important thing that we need to know, and that's going to be how many inches do we have in a foot. As long as we know how many inches are in a single foot, we can do all of our conversions from inches to feet and feet to inches. Now this is going to be most likely given to you. So you have one foot equals 12 inches. Now you may be thinking, why do we need to know how many inches are in one foot? Well, you can do two feet, you can do 10 feet. If you knew how many inches were in all of these, it's still going to work. It's just that it's so much simpler. All of our math that we have to do gets so much simpler, way easier, if we start with this. If you're starting with these, or even if you had, let's say, 212 inches, and you knew how many feet were in that, these are all rather complicated, and will give us a lot more work that we have to do, and we don't wanna do all that. So as long as we know the very simple one, one foot has 12 inches, that's gonna be all we need to know to do all of our conversions in the simplest way possible. So we have our base step set. We know one foot is gonna equal 12 inches. So let's get to converting our inches to feet. So let's say we have 192 inches and we wanna know how many feet that's gonna be. We're given 192 inches, but we don't know how many feet would this actually equal. Well, we know that every foot has 12 inches in it. So what we wanna do here is figure out how many groups of 12 does 192 give us? How many groups of 12, if we was to break this up into groups of 12, how many groups would you have? And this is really just telling you to divide 192 by 12. If you were to do that, you would see that 192 divided by 12 gives you 16 and 16 is going to be how many feet we have when we have 192 inches we can break up 192 into 16 groups of 12 therefore we have 16 feet whenever we have 192 inches so this is good for our first example but let's say we have another example and in our second example we have 200 and 88 inches. And we wanna figure out how many feet we have here. Well, we're gonna tackle this the same exact way. We wanna see how many groups of 12 will 288 give us. So we're gonna divide 288 by 12 again. And when we do so, we're gonna get 24. 24 groups of 12 is what we have when we have 288 inches. Therefore, our answer is going to be 24 feet. So when you're converting from inches to feet, what you really wanna do is take your total number of inches and divide it by 12. That's gonna give you how many feet you have for your amount of inches. So now that we've tackled inches to feet, let's talk about what we need to do in order to go from feet to inches. So let's say we were given 14 feet, and we of course know that every foot is going to equal 12 inches. What do we need to do in order to find how many inches we have when we have 14 feet? Well, we just said every foot is going to be 12 inches and we have 14 of them. That means we're gonna have 14 groups of 12. That's just telling us to multiply 14 times 12. If we were to multiply 14 by 12, we would get 168 and that's going to be how many inches we have when we have 14 feet so 168 inches 
is what you get when you have 14 feet. So let's look at another example just to drive the point home. Let's say we were given instead 34 feet and we want to know how many inches are in 34 feet. So just multiply 34 times 12. 34 times 12. There's going to be 34 groups of 12. And if you would add up all that, you would get 408 inches. So unlike when you convert it from inches to feet, you had to divide your total number of inches by 12. What you're gonna be doing here when you're converting from feet to inches is to multiply whatever your total number of feet you have by 12. You're doing both things by 12, but in one case, you're dividing, in the other case, you're multiplying. Feet to inches, you multiply. You multiply because you're gonna want a bigger number than what you started with. Notice that you have one and 12 here. Which number is bigger? 12. 12 is gonna be bigger than one. So if you're converting feet to inches, you want your inches to have a bigger number than your feet. That's why we multiply. And if you're going from inches to feet, you're going to divide because one is a smaller number. So by dividing, we're going to get a smaller number than what we started with. So that's how we make sure we're keeping the right operation for what we're trying to do. Feet to inches, multiply. Inches to feet, divide. And it kind of makes sense when you look at this. So I hope you were able to follow along with today's video and I hope you now understand how you can convert from your inches to your feet and from your feet to your inches. However, if you have any questions about what we saw today or even your own homework, you can always visit my Facebook page at Tumi Senpai and tell me all about it there. If you hadn't done so already, remember to leave that like. It surely helps the channel by letting YouTube know that you found the video helpful. And if you found the video helpful, so can someone else. So leave a like, hit the notification bell, smash the subscribe button, and share this video with a friend. Well, that's all the time I have for today. I'm really helping to help with your homework. I'm looking forward to seeing you again next week. I'm Courtney, and this has been another session of Tutor Me Simpa.